Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mr. Chris here. I am going to be showing you one, two, three, four fruits that I think are a little bit unusual and maybe you haven't tried yet. Or if you have tried it, you may not have seen one being cut open. So we're going to start with one that I think is kind of interesting. This is called a kiwi. Now, a kiwi has a very fuzzy skin on the outside that isn't very good to eat. So I'm going to start by cutting it in half and see what the inside looks like. This is green with some black seeds and a white center. And then I'm going to take my peeler and I'm going to go around the outside like that. Ooh. Oh, this one's getting a little overripe. He actually doesn't want to want to be peeled. He just wants to kind of give up. There we go. All right. There we go. And then let's see. Looks like we've got a bunch off with the peel. We can go over the top of the knife. Okay. Okay. There we go. And now we have a nice piece of kiwi that we can slice up into nice little slices. All right, there we go. So there you have it, some kiwi inside of its shell. Next thing here, we've got a passion fruit. I like these a lot. Start by cutting them in half. You don't want to let any of the juices come out because they are very juicy inside. Now there you can see a bunch of seeds and you can kind of scrape them out and you can put them in juice, make juice out of them. Um, it smells amazing. Mm. I've never seen those in a supermarket, but my neighbor grows them, so that's how I got that one. All right, mango. This is my personal favorite fruit. It has a kind of a weird way of cutting it, which is you cut one side, and there's a flat seed in the middle. You're going to cut like this, and then you've got a little piece on each side you can get. Now I should mention that with any knife, you should let an adult use the knife um, and not touch it certainly not you use it on your own we want to make sure that adults are doing things that are difficult or, and dangerous so we don't want to use a knife let, let your mom or dad or another grown-up do that you cut it you get these orange cubes and you can just kind of cut away at the edge of the skin and pop them out There we go. And now we've got some cubes of mango. Like that. So, this is a mango. I really love mango. We've got one more here, which is a pomegranate. And I am going to make a little room for my pomegranate. And we're going to cut it open. It's pretty tough, this guy. Alrighty. Alright, take a look inside. There we go. I've got these seeds here. You can pop out like that. And I will say that I'm not very good at cutting pomegranate. But, you can see it's got seeds all the way throughout it. And once you get it cut open like this, you can even pop them out. They look a little bit like jewels. They're very, very sweet. But they are crunchy as well. So, one thing I'd like to prove to you is these are edible. They do taste good. I will happily eat anything here. Check this out. Mmm. How sweet. It's very good. Likewise with a kiwi. Mmm. That is also sweet. Mango. Hmm. 
Sometimes mango can be sour if it's not ripe, but that one was very good. Last but not least, I have some pomegranate, or not pomegranate, passion fruit seeds here. And they are a little bit trickier to eat. So I think I'm gonna have to grab some out with my fingers, and these are usually pretty darn sour, so let's see here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. They actually do get pretty sweet if you let them ripen. So, these are all some relatively unusual fruits. I wasn't able to find dragon fruit in my grocery store, which I did want to show you, but I've had it before and it tastes very good. These are all, all wonderful flavors, and I hope that you get to try something with your family that maybe is new to you. And be brave, because just because it looks unfamiliar, looks like something you've never seen before, doesn't mean it can't taste really, really good. All right, so long, everybody. Bye.